I think it's right now between the Assembly, the Senate, uh, and the courts. Uh, and the courts, to me, sound like they're going to, uh, they're getting more aggressive. If you have elections in June, uh, and we're sitting here in March and we don't have the lines, this is a bad situation because you want a healthy debate and you want enough time to wage a campaign. And I think that's the court's concern. But it looks to me, at this rate, uh, if they don't get something done fast, you're going to see the court step in. The problem is the Constitution. The Constitution says the legislature has the authority to draw the lines. And they say, well, it's political. Yes, it's political because they are political. And when they draw the lines, they're going to draw the lines politically. And if you want to change that, change the Constitution. Update on your talks with the legislature on a potential redistricting amendment? Nope. No, there, there hasn't been any progress? Any, any? Nope. Oh, yes, there's progress. Every day there's progress. <laughs> Governor. Every day, another Governor. small step Governor. towards perfect democracy. You know, don't, I hope they don't send me a plan that requires me to veto, and they think that they're then going to come back with a better plan. You know, there's no, we have no one, two, three step process here. Time is very, very short. That's what the court is saying. We should have had the lines done already. Get them done. You know, get them, and nothing is going to change. They know the options. They know the lines. The map isn't going to change. Uh, draw the lines. Get it done.